It's important to be at a festival because here's why. I'm Dustin. Flesh and blood. So if you're a filmmaker or just even a film buff, how do you navigate a prestigious film festival like South by Southwest in Austin, Texas? and make the most out of it. I'm gonna give you my take in this video. Well, after seeing this monstrosity, I think I'd prefer to stay on the other side of the camera. <laughs> South by Southwest is considered to be the biggest festival in the world. Just the film track alone attracts more than 70,000 visitors. Rock on, guys. Okay. But the music and interactive track that run parallel easily double those numbers. Do what you can, because that idea encapsulates everything I've ever done. You have 10 plus days to watch films, enjoy concerts, mingle, get drunk, eat Texan barbecue, but most importantly, develop long-lasting relationships. South by Southwest, it's really good for meeting people and meeting other artists and cool actors and getting inspired because the quality of films here is so high. Their programmers find such interesting films that you don't really see them anywhere else. As you might know, Flesh and Blood is a film I edited in the last year or so, and now we had the privilege to have the world premiere at South by Southwest. Um, we're about to show the movie at the South by Southwest Film Festival. It's the premiere. And I'm feeling like, is anyone going to show up outside of the people that we know? You know, the reality is, even if you get into an amazing festival like South by Southwest, Sundance, Cannes even, if you're a real independent film, you're always going to be fighting to be seen and heard on every single level. It's part of it. It's naive to think you can show up at a place and uh, you can just sit back and relax. Like, it's work. Right, hello, hello. How's it going, guys? Welcome to day two, South by Southwest. Welcome to the world premiere of Flesh and Blood. <laughs> Thanks for being here. It was my first movie that played here in 2008, so it's really amazing to be back here. I gotta see your knees at least scrape once. And my knees have been scraped a lot of times. Let's play handball. No, that hurts. Let's try to play handball. Do you have any advice? How do you navigate the festival? I, the way I navigate through all this stuff, my best advice that I can give is that it is, it is beautiful to be acknowledged by festivals and by people who write about films. But at the end of the day, what's most important is your relationship to your work, the passion that's in you to tell the stories that you want to tell. They need to be there and they need to be on fire because of yourself. Damn Dubs, you want to bring up anybody else? Yeah, I do. I want to bring down um, my editor, Sven, and my producer, Dustin, my other producer, Jason. What was it like to see yourself on a big screen and what are your plans? Oh, I thought I was the worst part of the movie. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently I eat really weird. <laughs> Annoying shrill voice, they captured the awkward years perfectly. <laughs> but, uh, South by Southwest 2020. You'll see me here. Blood is probably my favorite film that I've seen here at South by Southwest. It's a tiny indie. I really hope it gets distribution so that everyone can see it. It's not a traditionally plotted movie or anything like that. How do you craft that? This is our third film that we've done together. He actually has a, a YouTube channel called This Guy Edits, where he gives you a, a direct window into the, the editing process of this movie in particular. You go to this screening and you get to have that moment and you feel wow, this is amazing, this is great. But today, it's like combing through Twitter and seeing, okay, of the people that were there, what do they say, getting that right on the thing. Okay, here's our reviews. Get that an Instagram post and keep putting it out there and being relentless. No one else is going to do it as good as you. Yeah, I want to get down there and figure out what was narrative feature. Yeah, like we well, may have already seen it. It may be colossal or something, we've already seen it. How was your festival experience so far? 
really awesome, really awesome. I could use like the first three days back getting it wired, but it's awesome. Let's get into the nitty gritty a little bit. So sure. I've known Alex for a couple of years now <laughs> and you're a total go-getter when it comes to like just getting into places, meeting people. How can you be better at festival link? Me or you? The people that the are people. watching. Oh my God. Wake up as early as you can and go to sleep as late as you can and go to as many things and have as much fun as you can. Because when you're having fun, you're meeting cool people and it's natural. Uh, you're not like coming up to them and trying to pitch your project right away. You're just meeting people in a social environment and hopefully making meaningful connections. What is something you should not do? Never ever come up and start pitching your project. It's like dating. Don't come up to a girl and be like, hey, come up to my hotel room, let's have sex. It's not gonna work. You have to like talk about the festival, the weather, the music. You talk about your favorite movies that you've seen, you know, what inspires you. And then if they're interested in what you do, uh, if there's a good enough connection, they'll ask you. How do you get into parties or screenings? Oh, my answer's too long. I can cut it. Because I can just make them shorter. No, make them good and I'll make them shorter. I'll make them good, all right. <laughs> so how do you get into parties if you're not on the list? That's a trade secret. I can't, no, I'm kidding. Okay. Honestly, you just come in looking like you're, you belong there. And sometimes if it's not meant to be, it's not gonna work out and it's fine. And you'll end up going somewhere else and meeting, meeting like an awesome person on a, on a shuttle. There was a filmmaker party and I really wanted to go there. I was in line and the, when they asked me for a badge, I said, I'm so sorry, I don't have a badge, but I'd really like to go in. And so they said, no, we can't do it. And I said, oh, okay, no worries. And I just, I said, do you mind if I stand right here until I figure something out? And, and they're like, well, sure, you know, it's a free country. So I stood there for about 11 minutes. I checked my Instagram, I checked my Facebook, and I would just check in with the people. And when the line thinned out, the guy at the door just let me in because he saw that I was insistent and I wasn't gonna leave. I am careless and I'm lost. For filmmakers, festivals really are about inspiration, measuring up your work against others connecting with people. There's so many things happening. Never worry about missing out. As long as you're doing something, you are part of it. I'm clearly the opposite of a social butterfly, but it gets easier and easier. The more you do it, the more fun it really becomes. Let me know your tips and some of your craziest festival stories. See you on the next one.